What's up everybody? I'm here with another Lightwave tutorial. Uh, basically going to show you how to mix materials with a note editor. Um, just to set it up, I've got a um, just a plane here and a camera pointing down at it. So let's enable nodes and jump right in. Let's move that off to the side. I'm going to open F prime just to uh, save some space. Um, it's basically the same as VPR though, so... Alright, so we've got our surface, and um, let's just import a couple images. A uh, couple image nodes. And I've already imported the images, just to save some time. We're going to put this, um, these two nodes. We're going to just mix them, so of course we need a uh, mixer. And I'm going to put this one and the foreground and this one in the background. And let's make sure to uh, put them planar mapping on Y and automatically size them just so that they fit the plane. And we put it up to the color and that's what we get. Um, right now the second image is hiding behind the first. And actually we'll switch these. Kind of make it a little more interesting. Alright, um, so right now uh, this one's hiding, oops, no, this one's hiding behind, uh, this one's hiding behind this one. So what we're going to do is control how it shows through. I mean, you could um, lower the opacity and um, you can kind of see them you know, blend, um, but if you don't want to do that, um, you can control it with a black and white image. So what we're going to do is copy and paste this and bring in our third image. It's just a black and white uh, paint rusty type thing. So we're going to put the luma into the opacity and there you can see it's cut away that part of the image. Um, now if you're like me um, you're going to have um, you're going to want to mix more than one of these and so let's give ourselves a little bit more space. Um, so what you want to do is get a add node, make sure it's a scalar and not a vector, you'll know because the vector has blue dots and the scalar has green ones. Um, so let's duplicate, copy paste this and we'll get another image. I've pretty much just rotated our first image 180 degrees and got an opposite of this one. So it's a uh, basically what you think we're gonna do. We're just gonna add these two and plug the result in and that's what happens. That's basically it. Um, the great thing about this is that you can uh, copy and paste these two. We'll just rotate this 90 degrees and we'll rotate 90 degrees on this one and copy and paste this one and get another one. And you can stack these up as many as you want and it'll basically add as many as you want. Um, the great thing for me, I like to stack these up instead of using UVs because you get um, just real fine control over how um, how far in these are placed and, and whatnot. But, um, but yeah, that's it. Um, it's a real powerful way of uh, working and it's very flexible. If you've got any ideas for future tutorials or if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.